Hi, my name is Weggs, like eggs with a W. And recently I started jotting down some stories. Collectively, I call them the autobiography of an ordinary man and the extraordinary people that he's met along the way. One of the most extraordinary people in my life was my uncle Max, better known as Moxie, sometimes known as Foxy Moxie, and other times Max the Axe, uh, because he liked to take down timber uh, at his home in Oregon. Now, this particular story that I'm gonna to read to you is called the Moxie Miracle. You see, after his son Damon died, not surprisingly, Uncle Max went into a funk, a hardcore gut punch funk. Now that's when his favorite ex-wife stepped in. Aunt Joanne and my cousins decided that in order to cheer Max up, he needed to scratch an item off his bucket list, attending a Green Bay Packer game at the legendary Lambeau Field. And what a game it was. It was the home opener for the Pack's 100th season. Their opponent, none other than the much dreaded and loathed Chicago Bears, their arch nemesis. Now, Moxie did his part, bringing along his big lungs, long cigars, and plenty of clean, corny jokes, his trademark. Now, unfortunately, by halftime, our glorious green and gold were nothing but black and blue. It was an old time out and out ass whooping. When the Packers went to the locker room at halftime, we wondered if they'd even bother to come back out. Worse, star quarterback Aaron Rodgers had gone down with a knee injury. Twitter was saying that he was out for the season. He was done. Now, Maxie's dear cousin, and childhood partner in crime, Leo, felt awful that Moxie's loan visit to Lamba was to be such an outright beating. There was a great woe and overcast Paul in Lambo that day, except for the drunken, obnoxious Bears fan four rows behind Max, his cousin Leo, Leo's son Mike, and me. Ah, but Moxie never lost the faith. He kept the faith, the kind of faith that leads to miracles, legendary miracles, like the one we were about to witness, the Moxie miracle. Because when the glorious green and gold did come back out on the field, leading them was none other than Aaron Rodgers. He's a bit gimpy, but he was ready to play. And boy, did the Packers come to play they pulled off the largest fourth quarter comeback in team history. It was unbelievable. It was exhilarating. It was the Moxie miracle. Because of course, Max took full credit for the comeback. After all, he was wearing his throwback jersey. He even offered to buy the drunken, obnoxious Bears fan a beer. Though I half hope he'd pour it over the guy's head. It was that bad. But Moxie was kind to all the fans, even Bear fans. After all, everyone there was a potential audience. And Max always played to his audience. In fact, before we walked into the stadium, Moxie cornered every Bears fan that he could to ask them, Hey, have you heard the one about Baby Bear? A little confused, they took the bait. So Max started to tell the story. He said, yeah, unfortunately, Mama Bear and Papa Bear decided to get a divorce. So the judge asked Baby Bear if he wanted to live with Papa Bear. Well, Baby Bear said, Papa Bear is a very good bear. But honestly, once in a while, he beats me. Hmm, said the judge. So then do you want to live with Mama Bear? Well, Baby Bear said, Mama Bear is a very fine mother, but I'm not going to lie. Sometimes she beats me too. Oh no, the judge said. So, who do you want to live with, Baby Bear? 
Well, Judge Baby Bear said, I was thinking that I'd like to go live with the Chicago Bears. They don't beat anybody. I'm pretty sure that at least half the Bear fans at Lambeau Field that day heard that joke. And perhaps that was the true moxie miracle, that they laughed without kicking our butts, and that one overgrown gnome could bring heated rivals together. Only moxie, because after all, he was a miracle.